What's going on everybody? I'm Slavin Itorski and welcome to the channel. And we finally have some updates coming for Marvel's Avengers. I know I've kind of let this off for the past couple weeks. I apologize. We are back. So we're going to go straight into the War Table weekly blog. This is number 33. Uh, this was updated yesterday. Today is the 15th of April, which is Thursday. This was updated on Wednesday. All right, so let's see if there's anything special in here. They have some PC enthusiast stuff. That's a pretty cool PC, if you ask me. All right, priority missions, Stark Realities, with modifiers, Resurgent Turmoil Capacitor. That is minimum power level 25. Get epic loot out of that. Enter the Avengers is the power level 120. Modifiers, Famine, Resurgence, Maelstrom, Helix. Polychlorons, Hero Specific Gear, Other Rewards. Priority Harm Challenges. I'm going to go through several things in this video. That's why I'm kind of racing through it. Minimum power level 15 is modifiers collider and torpedo minimum power level 100 it modifiers maelstrom collider and pressure when you complete it the first time you get miss marvel 2014 number two the molina variant so here it is here let's see if we can zoom in you get a 0.5 percent heroic charge rate for these the mega hives modifiers are resurgence famine oasis and scourge weekly rewards are as normal Marketplace updates. So we're getting some more of the aerospace outfits. This is the final batch of them. So they have some previous ones in there you could purchase. What I'm hoping they do is like they did before where they had a sale and made all the costumes half off. I am hoping that sale comes up again soon and I'll consider buying some more of these. Uh, then we have Hawkeye's new costume. That I, I'm sorry, that looks really cool. It might look a lot like uh, Sub-Zero or noob cybot but i still think it's cool looking goes with the aerospace very well i like the black on white color scheme here is the full marketplace right here so we've got some black widow we've got the aerospace looks like hawkeye has his <laughs> hawaiian shirt on uh hulk's got a new one there looks like uh he's got some um uh, flowers around his neck i forgot what you call that a uh, lay around his neck like from hawaii uh, let's see, and then there's a free nameplate, so that's the Iron Man number 026, not bad, like that. So, weekly stream recap, they started adding these, I like that. There were some of the issues some of the EU PlayStation users ran into with 1.5.1a, uh, which has now been resolved. There were the issues with Superior Iron Man outfit with rendering and sound. They're working on that, and they gave a little sneak peek photo at what multiple heroes can look like in a Tachyon Anomaly event, which is why I'm racing through this video, because that is coming up here soon. Chameleon Challenge is kill 1,250,000 Adaptoids to get 500 units. And here, I always love the community spotlight with the photos. Look at how good these are. People are taking some amazing friggin' photos. Especially Thor, since he's my favorite character in the game. Look, look at the detail in this photo. How awesome is that? Then we have them with the hammer. I like that one. These are all really good. I like the first one too. Action shot. <laughs> cool stuff though. But that's it for the War Table Weekly Blog. Let's go back. Scroll up. Tachyon Anomaly Event begins April 22nd. So let's open that up and see what it says. All right. First revealed a month ago at Square Enix Presents. This event is coming on April 22nd has a variety of activities, including Tachyon Rifts, being able to have Strike Team composed of more than one of the same hero. So if you want straight Iron Man, you can. Temporal Assault. Aim's tampering with the time has led to periodic Tachyon anomalies. Whether these events occur, whenever these events occur, Avengers from different timelines can converge in a single location and take on the world's threats together. The first Tachyon anomaly is happening from April 22nd to May 3rd, and allows players to form teams of more than one of the same hero. So a strike team of four hulks is possible and smashingly wild. Players can also matchmake into teams that contain the same heroes, meaning you'll never know what combination of heroes you might be a part of. So you can matchmake as well as uh, do that with friends. During the two weeks, there will be a weekly mission chain that rewards Hive Mind gear set and daily missions that reward priority gear set for high-level heroes. They're also introducing Temporal Assault nameplates, which are animated nameplates you can get to add some shine to your experience. 
You'll receive an animated team nameplate as a reward for your first completion of the weekly mission chain that can be used for any hero. That's cool. So nameplates actually have animations in them. I like that. That's neat. Anything like that that has animations, it's I'm sold on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. There are also hero-specific animated nameplates that will be available in the marketplace. So April 22nd to 29th are Thor, Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Hulk. April 29th to May 6th are Iron Man, Captain America, Miss Marvel, and Kate Bishop. And, of course, they want to know what you think of the event. So, Tachyon Rift Missions. During the Tachyon Anomaly event, multiple Tachyon Rift Missions will appear at a time. There will also be a new Tachyon... Will also be new Tachyon Rift Missions for heroes who are power level 1 to 100, which will rotate every day and offer relevant rewards. Finally, there is a new Tachyon Mission in town, and we're back. For players who may be new to Marvel's Avengers, Tachyon Rifts are timed missions that usually require power level 140 plus, with only one appearing on the war table per, per week. These missions reward powerful cosmic gear that can allow her heroes to gain willpower, or in other words, life, upon attacking enemies. In order to unlock Tachyon Rift missions, players must complete the Shield Substation Zero mission chain that takes them to the Pacific Northwest. I think most of us completed that by now. Basically, if you want life steal equipment, this is how you do it. If you and a buddy are both Iron Man mains and you haven't been able to play together because of this, then this is the time to do it. So this is really cool. You can also send them screenshots if you want to. So this is cool. Um, it's kind of the uh, cool feature that I, I understand why they don't have it until now and they want to do it as an event. I feel like this is their way of testing the waters to see if everybody wants it and likes it or not. So awesome stuff. Looking forward to trying it out and playing it. I still play this game, not as much. Granted, I play Outriders a bit more now, but I still do enjoy this game. So if you guys are interested in getting in on that event, go ahead and do it. It starts April 22nd, so definitely looking forward to it. But I hope you guys uh, found this informational helpful, and as usual, stay safe, keep your family safe, and stay